it's to the point now that you cannot trust the professional organizations that say they are for mental health. Um, homosexuality, by the way, is a clinical developmental gender identity disorder that should never have been removed from the list of disorders. Never. Never. Because one of the questions I knew you wanted to ask, and I think this is a good time to do that, is anyone born gay? Yeah. And the answer is no, absolutely not. In fact, let me quote from one of those organizations. It says this, from May 2000, the American Psychiatric Association, there are no replicated scientific studies supporting any specific biologic etiology for homosexuality. What does that mean? There's not a shred of scientific evidence, none, that anyone is born a homosexual. We mapped the human genome. We found less than 30,000 human genes. Among those genes, none of them, none of them show that it is genetic at all. In fact, the uh, world-renowned geneticist who was appointed by uh, President Bill Clinton to head up the Human Genome Project, a 13-year project with a, quite a big budget, at the end of the project said, quote, homosexuality is not hardwired, end quote. There's, again, no gay gene. The brain studies, the st the, some of the science you see coming out there, all of it's debunked. It can't be independently verified or replicated. Uh, the sources they use are flawed. The, the pool that they use is so small and so tiny you can't even possibly draw a conclusion. In fact, the brain study by Dr. Simon LeVay, who was an open homosexual who lost his partner to AIDS, which I believe is his motivation for trying to prove that people are born homosexual, uh, his brain study used cadavers, a little over 30 cadavers, dead people. Some of them we didn't know what their origins were. They were indigent. That's how they were able to get their bodies. And based on the, these uh, nodes or nodules on the pineal gland, which is behind the pituitary gland, he concluded that people were gay or not gay based on the size of those nodules. It, it was it's just an absurd study, proved nothing, but Time Magazine and the general press, when he first released it, said, here it is, we have it, this is the reason, we've got the evidence now, yeah. totally debunked. Uh, there was another guy named Dean Hamer, Dr. Dean Hamer, who did a study at his university, and in that study, uh, <clears throat> he did, uh, said it was genetic. He absolutely skewed his findings. In fact, he made them up. When it was revealed that that's what he did, he wasn't fired. He was giving a lateral demotion, moved into another uh, part of uh, the department at that university, but another flawed and false study. And this isn't the only one. There's so many theories out there, and it's a desperation to justify the feelings and the behavior that you have. Because when you get involved deeply into sexual sin, it becomes an addiction. It changes the way your brain thinks. It changes your brain wire, wire, wiring. We now have the science and the studies called brain mapping, where through MRIs and yes. PET scans, we're able to tell what happens when you view certain materials are involved in certain behaviors, it changes the wiring of your brain.